they say, the verdict had largely been considered a formality by experts as the truth, as the true length of her detainment will be determined by the negotiations on a prisoner swap between the United States and Russia. Mm-hmm. So those are swap. A uh, Russian prisoner who was in the States mm. was swapped and taken to Moscow mm. or, and then she was brought back this side. So I think... Was she brought back? Uh, she's, she's, she was tried. And she's, she was tried in Moscow. Uh, in Russia, yeah. No. Yeah, I think so. She was brought back to Seto. She was tried in Russia. Yo, wait. Yeah. Russian officials, including Kremlin, through Deputy Minister of for Foreign Affairs, have insisted that under Russian law, the country could not consider a deal before she was sentenced. Okay, so yes, yeah, so, so she, she, had to, she had to be sentenced mm. for the deal for the swap too. Okay, yes, to yes, through. yes, yeah. yes. So she was tried in Russia. Huh? Yeah. Um. So she's yeah. She said for her, mm-hmm. she made an honest mistake, mm-hmm. and. Um, she learned from she learned from what she did mm-hmm. and that's why she pled guilty to her charges mm-hmm. understanding everything that's being said against her and mm-hmm. the charges that are against uh that were put up against her mm-hmm. for what she did mm-hmm. that's why she pled guilty because she's like okay i made a mistake so i think she she pled guilty for uh a leniency mm-hmm. in her sentence in return mm. which now has not happened <laughs> There was no reciprocity. Uh, there's no reciprocity. <laughs> there's no reciprocity. I don't know. Nine years cannabis oil. Uh, I mean, there's, you know, there's a debate of what the law of the land holds or states mm. versus the the thing that has been done. And um, I found a lot of people arguing that if she's given leniency mm. in such a situation, mm. then it sets precedence that other people will come claiming that even for them it was a mistake and they want leniency in their sentencing. But then there's now there's the emotional part of where we come in, thinking that, okay, this thing is heavy. So I don't know where, I don't know where, for, uh, that, where the, to, to draw the line in this one. For, I know people, people will um, say probably some sense of leniency needed to have come in. Yeah. Because and that could be also, because we interact with weed, Especially me and you, we are always interacting with, with we are passing by somebody who's smoking or mm. we see, like it's always there around us, yeah, even yeah. if we are not even smoking you directly. Partake, yeah. yeah, so it becomes such a normal thing that to think that would send somebody to nine, nine years in prison is just, you feel like it's too much because it's wild. such a normal thing in your life. It's wild, yeah. For me, uh, personally, I'm okay. I, I love rules and laws that are followed. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. I'm okay with this. Mm -hmm. I'm okay uh, her going, uh, being charged with nine years uh, in prison for cannabis oil. I'm totally okay with it. Mm -hmm. But I'm not, there is now the problem is uh, such laws will never apply to everyone equally. Ah, it shouldn't be not picking and choosing. Yes, the the problem is like in society, in every society, even in Moscow itself. Yeah, such laws don't apply to everyone equally. The big wigs will always have a way to to maneuver or avoid certain verdicts because they are the big wigs. But mm. the small fish will always carry or bear the most pain. That's the only thing that I'm totally against it because. If it was somebody who was very influential in Russia, this couldn't have happened. They could have done their own magic and done something and whatever. They could have pulled strings Mm. and they could have avoided this. Mm. So that's my only concern. Uh, I'm okay. I love uh, rules that are followed. Uh, If it's a law, let it be a law. Uh, Let whoever committed that uh, offense or crime to be punished. That's okay. But the sad thing is it never applies to everyone equally. Uh, let me give you another one. Let me spin you. I've just seen something on CNN, mm-hmm. the CNN website, about the same story. Um, so Brittany testified in the courtroom. So yeah, it's true. It's actually done. In, she, was tra- um, she was sentenced in, Russian, mm-hmm. uh, in Russia. She testified in the courtroom that um, 
part of her ongoing trial on drug charges, telling the court that she had no intention of smuggling drugs into the country. Mm-hmm. I st- and I quote, I still don't understand to this day how they ended up in my bags, said Greiner, who has been detained in Russia since February when authorities said they found cannabis oil in her luggage at a Moscow airport and accused her of smuggling significant amounts of a narcotic substance. She faces up to 10 years in prison. Um, she went ahead and said, she pled she uh, she pleaded guilty earlier this month a decision the defense hopes will be taken into account by the court and perhaps led to a less severe sentence that's mm-hmm. what we're talking about but the US state department has classified Greiner as wrongfully detained and her supporters have called for her release fearing she might be used as a political pawn amid Russian Russia's invasion of Ukraine mm-hmm. Um the states offered uh to exchange a convicted Russian arms trafficker as part of a potential deal to secure Griner's release as well as Paul Well Wellands another American detained in Russia according to people briefed on the matter. Mm-hmm. So this this story has a lot of things in it. Yeah. There is a Russia war and mm-hmm. there's a potential or possibility potential possibility that Russia is using the stance that states has, you know, um, disclaimed that they don't support the war, they don't support Putin and what he's doing, mm-hmm. as a way, as an example, to sort of like, you know, hit back at states without at states. necessarily like an airstrike. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a possibility that she didn't carry the and cannabis it was planted. and just planted, mm. you know. So there's many, there's many facets to this story. It's not a black and white situation because mm-hmm. for her to claim that you know she didn't uh, she had no idea how they got there mm-hmm. um knowing very well the sports that she plays mm-hmm. basketball mm-hmm. um they do they go for drug testing so there's no way she should be in the WNBA and she consumes um um, um weed mm-hmm. you know so then now comes in the defense telling you that okay plead guilty these guys will see that and they we can plead into their in their heart they plead to their hearts and minds and they'll get they give you a, a lesser sentence um as i've said uh, maybe she's innocent we really don't know the story we are talking about this from the outside mm-hmm. but for me uh my biggest concern especially in the society is the small fish will always carry the most weight true and we are for us we are just like pawns in a chess game yeah, yeah, yeah. so britney is just a pawn that is suffering today you might be some uh, a pawn that's suffering tomorrow, tomorrow you really yeah. don't know. You never know my only problem with these laws is they don't they, apply they don't apply equally to they each don't. and every yeah, 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 yeah. so yeah. that's i'm okay with the law with the, uh, I mean, if that's their law, that's their law, that's yes. their law. But it has to apply But now, across the board. Yes, whatever. Be- the reason why, uh, because it's not being applied across the board, it's unfair. True. And now that true. means it's an unfair judgment. True, for, true, for, true. Because yeah. the guys who've done probably far more trivia, watch, far much watch yeah. crimes and they are still, they are in Shh. positions of power. Yeah. Sour. Yeah. Uh, it, this is the Naked Ego Watch trending. Uh, thank you for listening. Watch it like share subscribe watch like share and subscribe wow did it did it and cut